Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is nothing In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing, traveling, difficult Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Ashley, also known as Ashra Plays, and I'm back with a very exciting video for you guys. I'm doing another mods review video and I know I just recently did one, but I'm trying to post more often on YouTube and I figure I do more videos like this to post in between my Let's Play series while I'm prepping for those because those do take quite a bit of time for me to do. One of my biggest wishes in The Sims 4 is more accessories for Sims, in particular handbags and purses. I discovered that there's functional handbags made by Coco Games, which if you don't know, she has a YouTube channel. You should definitely check it out. I love her Amber's Life series. It is so good. But Coco has made a handful of handbags. <laughs> Not only are they accessories for your Sims, but they have functionality to them, which is something that I've been wanting for so long. The theme of today's video is very nostalgic for me. It is a what's in my bag type of video. And so that's what today's mod review theme is. It's a bunch of functional items that can actually go into these handbags that I'm showcasing. And as always, everything that is mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description down below. We're going to be using my sim stuff for today's video. And if she does look a little bit different, that's because I gave her a revamp because I clearly do not know what I look like in real life. I'm constantly changing her up. But her and her dog Benji will be the start of today's video. We're going to start off with my favorite handbag that she's created and that is the leather tabby bag it comes in two swatches this the handbag you guys is on my wish list like i have the pillow tabby in cream but i just want like the regular tabby in black and this looks just as stunning as it does in real life like she did such amazing job look how amazing this looks and then here's what it looks like on your sims so your sims can be wearing this while they're out and they can still have like the functional version in their inventory so let me show you guys how functional this is it's live draggable so you can be able to drag this without going into build mode you could put the purse you know on the table your sim can put it in the kitchen when they get home from work it can go in your inventory so whenever your sims leave the house they'll still have it with them but here's where the real magic happens happens. If you click on the purse, you'll have an open interaction. If you click on this, the handbag has its own inventory, guys. So many items can fit in these handbags. Like literally, if it's live draggable, it will more than likely fit in this bag. So this handbag does require two expansion packs, and that is Discovery University in Equalized Style. She hasn't narrowed down to which particular two, but she believes it might be Discovery University. So that pack is required in order for this to be functional. But I'm also going to show off a few more handbags that Coco Games has created. Here's the vintage coach handbag and this is such a classic to me like this reminds me of the handbags that my mom used to have and it comes in a bunch of cute swatches. I love the black one and like this brown one because this is the exact handbag my mom used to wear all the time. I thought she was so cool wearing this. And then we have another handbag in my game that she's created. We have the tote bag and here's what it looks like. I'm gonna see if I can post it somewhere with better lighting there we go so here's what that tote bag looks like it comes with three different swatches you have a tan a blue and then black oh my gosh all the black one i'm gagged i'm truly gagged i'm so excited about this because i carry mine everywhere like i always have mine especially when i'm traveling or going out of town it is the perfect tote bag it is so structured when i tell you i downloaded damn near all of her cc in one night i'm not joking <laughs> And then there is one more handbag that she's made. And I'm actually going to cover that a little bit later on in the video. But let me show you guys a few different functional items that can go in this bag. The first item I want to cover is the delivery healthy food made by Slamika Severinka. This is part two. So I covered part one in an earlier mods review video. I'll have that video linked in the description down below. But what this mod basically does is it adds 27 edible snacks and drinks for your Sims to order. This includes protein bars, protein cookies, and protein shakes. And if you eat any of these items before working out, they'll help your sim build muscle mass quicker. And they also come with custom buffs as well. Oh, it looks like it comes with even more. Wait a minute. Now I know about these items. I had no idea about these other items, y'all. So it looks like it also comes with dried fruits, fruits in cups. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> 
much. But the reason I'm mentioning this is that these are so perfect to go into your Sims handbag. So whenever they're out and they start to get hungry, they have these items available for them. So in order to access this, you're gonna click on the phone, click on the home tab, scroll down until you see SNS Healthy Food Delivery. And then you should get a pop-up that says delivery SNS Healthy Food. Here's a few items from part one, which comes with a bunch of meal prep food. But if you scroll down, we see the dried fruit here. I'm actually gonna grab a few of these and we'll also grab the fruit cup too. Scroll even further and you'll see the protein bars. <laughs> I am so excited about this y'all. So I'm gonna grab cookies and cream. I feel like I would love like a salted caramel protein bar. I'm gonna grab that. As for protein cookies, we're gonna grab the apple pie. That apple pie sounds appetizing. We'll grab chocolate and then as for protein shakes let's see we'll grab the peach and then the strawberry now these items are pricey i know y'all see that total cost this is 300 simoleons but we got it <laughs> thank you for using sns delivery service someone should be arriving with your order shortly hello benjamin there's no way i mean sniffing the air licking his lips why are you standing near this I'm deleting this. Like, that's disgusting. <laughs> Just sitting right in front of his own poop. Better yet, I'm gonna call him over so he can come inside. Okay, looks like our food is here. I'm pretty sure this is a pre made townie. Who is this? Oh, it's Clara. I'm, I don't know how to pronounce that last name. I'm just gonna ignore it and accept the delivery. Ah, soul soul. All right, she just placed the delivery down. I'm gonna give her a tip because she keep thinking about it. <laughs> and then we're going to unload it. Just up a charm. <laughs> All right, Benji, you know what? Here we go. Let me fill that bowl for you. Now that we've unloaded the groceries, everything should be in the fridge. I'm gonna pull everything out. Here's what the protein shakes look like. So we have uh, Ashley drink the strawberry protein shake to see what that looks like. Dota Vep. See if we'll get a buff from that. And did protein powered oh, from Protein Shake. Well, not only does protein fill you up, but it helps you build muscles. That's what the protein shake looks like. I'm not gonna have her eat everything. Oh, actually, no, I might have her eat the cookie too, because I wanna see what that looks like. <gasps> oh my gosh, y'all. She took the packaging off. That's so cool. That is really cute, y'all. I love how much detail Sonic and Serenka put in their mods. So here's the dried fruits. Here's the fruit cup. And then here's like the protein bars. But I'll also zoom in for you guys to see it better. I love the detailing on their food. The detailing is just chef's kiss. The reason why I also love this is because if we open up the purse, we can grab a few of these protein bars and we can put them in the purse. So now whenever Ashley leaves her house, she has these protein bars to enjoy while she's away. All the snacks that we just purchased are able to go in this bag. This bag is <laughs> big as hell. I think it fit all this, but yeah. The next mod I want to cover are these functional moleskin oh. journals. These are recolors of the journals that come in the parenthood pack. So with that being said, you are required to have parenthood in order for this to show up in your game. I love this journal so much because it comes in so many swatches, y'all. So many. We have like this pretty brown swatch. We have pink, red, and they're just all very flattering colors. But I think this journal is perfect for whenever your sim is out on the go um they can take this to the cafe or to the <laughs> library and do a little bit of jotting on your free time so it looks like ashley has a happy buff right now another day another entry the pin hitting the pad really helps ashley relive her emotions ah. and get it all out all right i'm gonna have her stop writing Ugh, hell no. oh not her cussing me out for oh. doing that <laughs> she said girl i'm not done benji please if this ain't him, hello? Who is that? Oh, that's um, it's one of the townies, the Windenburg townies. I'm currently in Windenburg right now, but now that she's done writing in her journal, we're gonna grab it and guess what? Put it in the bag. <laughs> And now it's in there. Like, I love this so much because it keeps your inventory clean. Like, nothing's here. It's all in the handbag. The same functionality that we got from this handbag is what I expected when we got the base gate update that came with the functional backpack and lunchbox a few months back. So the lunchbox does not have an inventory system at all. You're only able to grab a drink and then have a quick meal. And that's about it. But when it comes to the backpack here, it can't fit nothing, y'all. Like, 
these snacks cannot go in the bag at all. So your son's just gonna be hungry at school. Stomach growling, cause it's not going in here. I think the journal can go in there. Yeah, it can. Like I believe books are able to go in here, but it's very limited, you guys. It's so limited and it was a bit of a disappointment. I cannot lie, but it's fine. Cause we have these cute ass bags by Coco Games. All right, moving on to the next functional item that I have in my game. And this is the functional body care mod made by QMBB. And this is actually adopted from another creator that I've covered in a previous mods video. And that was the functional personal care products mod made by CC Galore. This is an updated version. So you can't have both of these mods in your game at once. You can only choose one. And so it comes with the same exact products as before. I don't remember off the top of my head what they were, but I'll have the video that I mentioned these mods in linked in the description down below for you guys. But QMPB added Nivea, Dove. I think they also added like a deodorant as well, which I appreciate. So my Sims are not musty. And it also comes with custom skin overlays. So whenever your Sims hop out of the shower, they will get ashy or inquire lotion in order to move the ashy overlay. This is the files that you get. If you don't want the custom overlays in your game, you can remove them. So this file here that says cast moisturize and then this file right here that says the dry skin loot. I have actually removed these two files out of my game because I've noticed that with the moisturize overlay it does conflict a little bit with my sims outfits which is such a bummer because it is such a stunning overlay y'all. It makes your sims so shiny and moisturized. So it says here that you're able to purchase these items at a target shell. If you want the target shell there's a link for you to download it but you're also able to grab these items in build mode as well. All you have to do is just type in the brand that you're looking for in particular and it'll pop up. So we're going to type in Nivea. We have the Nivea cream here and then we have the Nivea lotion and then the Nivea body wash. Here's what these items look like. You have different quote unquote scents to choose from. If y'all want to know what my absolute favorite lotion is, it's by Nivea. It's literally this exact lotion. The intense healing one, the 72 hours, that leaves dry tight skin. Yeah, this one. It's literally in my bathroom as we speak. I'm also going to pull out the Dove deodorant as well so we can see Ashley use that. So just to give you guys a quick refresh on how these body products work, you can click on the product and then there should be an interaction to apply the lotion. I'm going to have Ashley do that. Oh, I think this might need to go in her inventory. Hold on. Let me have her put that in her inventory and see if she'll do the animation because we got the buff. The buff says smooth and shiny from using lotion, but she didn't actually do the animation. Let's see if she'll do it now. Oh, no, she didn't. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I still have the moisturized cast overlay in because her skin is definitely glowing now. Oh, it looks so good. It does conflict with some outfits, but it's not conflicting with this one. And it looks really good on her. I'm not sure why the animation didn't work, but it says here smooth and shiny from using lotion. Ash should be gone. Now my skin is moisturized and the rough dry skin is now silky smooth. But that is the body lotion. You can place this in your Sims bathroom. And then we have the Nivea cream, which is a more compact version that can easily go into your Sims purse. And then we have the deodorant. I'm going to have her use that. Let's see if we get another buff from that as well. Ended. So it's here smelling like money from spraying perfume. I love this perfume. Okay, Dove, period. <laughs> Whenever I wear it, people always give me tons of compliments. And you know what? Since I'm feeling extravagant, let's go ahead and use the body wash as well. So in order for you to use the body wash, you need to make sure it's in your son's inventory. Or you can also make like a cute little shelf in your bathroom shower and your sims are able to use it without it having to go in your sims inventory so we're going to do a quick shower and while ashley's taking a shower you can click on the body lotion and use it and she'll get a custom buff from that so fresh and so clean from using body wash i love using scented body washes in the shower my skin feels so smooth and clean do you know what this is perfect for a spin a night bag. That tote bag I showed earlier, go ahead and throw this in there. So whenever your Sims got a sneaky link to go to, they can have some body wash. But I'm gonna have her change back into her clothes and we're gonna move on to the next mod. So this is the Functional Perfume and Cologne. It is made by the scene creator, QMBB. And it works very similar to the Functional Body Care mod. So we have two colognes made by Chanel. We have Blue de Chanel and then Allure Homme Sport. And then we have a Raph Lauren cologne here. And then we have the Dior Je Dior scent. And I already know I'm going to be using the hell out of this perfume, especially for one of my Sims. If you know Mimi Dreamer, I imagine this is like her favorite scent ever. Like she's always wearing it. So I'm going to have this on her vanity at all times. But we're just going to have Ashley come in here and use it just for you guys to see how it works. Like I said before, it works very similar to the body care mod. So she's going to put it on. 
and will get a buff from it, smelling like money. Just like the other mods I've shown, they're able to go into the bag. <gasps> no, no, uh-uh. Get the hell on. If you have Wicked Whims, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I'm in a new save file, so I didn't update my Wicked Whim settings. Tom Peeping creeps me the hell out. He creeps me the hell out. I get so triggered seeing him, like he cannot be in my game, y'all. Goodbye. All right, anyways, moving on to the next mod in my game. And this is perfumery made by Smithsonian Library. And just like Ooh, QMBB's man, mod, no. it's a functional perfume as well. So if you go into build mode and then type in perfume display, it should pop up. I believe this overrides the perfume display that comes in base game, but here's what it looks like. There are two pack requirements in order for this to work. You'll need seasons and outdoor retreat. Another pack that I would highly recommend with this is get to work, especially with any of the products that I've mentioned in today's video, because you're able to sell them in a retail store and your Sims are able to purchase them. And when your Sims at the retail store, they can click on the display, they can sample the perfume or they can purchase perfumes and scents. So we're going to click on that. And as you you can see here you have different scents to choose from and this is why i love this mod in particular is that if your sim is in a certain mood let's say your sim is upset like an interaction didn't go well with maybe their love interest they can purchase like a confident scent or even a flirty scent to get them in a better mood or if they're feeling sad they can have this perfume as a little pick me up we have a happy scent here this scent will make you feel as though you have a rainbow inside of you if you want to feel inspired does this scent for that so it's just basically something that can change your sim's mood and you don't have to use any type of cheats or anything this is a lot more realistic approach because I am such a perfume enthusiast that I, I do believe perfume do make things better. <laughs> so we're gonna grab the flirty scent and they are pricey. I'm not gonna lie. As you can see here, this one that's going as high as 6,500 simoleons. Eternal scent. Is this gonna bring us in back from the dead? I don't know. That's hmm. it's very intriguing, but we're gonna grab the flirty scent. You know, we'll grab the focus scent as well. And they'll instantly go into Ashley's inventory. But if you don't want them just laying around in your son's inventory, guess where you can put them? Right, right. You can put them in the bag. But we're going to pop the 40 cents and have her apply it. And also, this is an override. That perfume that you just saw. Oh, and I just covered that in my, my most recent mods showcase video. <gasps> oh, that's so cute. I didn't notice that before. She got little hearts over her head. And then she has a flirty bow. Romantically inspired. Something about that smell just puts you in the mood. The reason why she's not like flirty is because these perfume buffs are very overpowering. We're gonna remove them real quickly. Yeah, there we go. Now she's feeling very flirty. Oh, mm -hmm. Perfect for a date. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put that perfume back in her bag and move on to the next mod I have in my game, which is the Ice and Pad. And this is made by Lumia. Better yet, let me go ahead and pull out the tote bag. I feel like we got so many items in our tabby bag we need we need to switch out the bags now <laughs> and i am a firm believer that if you have an ipad your life is put together so of course i'm gonna have my sim self have one i'm manifesting one for myself because i still don't have an ipad y'all like i've had an ipad on my wish list for years now and i still don't have one i feel like it will get my life together if i get one <laughs> but it comes in three different swatches we have gold silver and space gray it costs 699 simoleons in the game so i want to say this works very similar to to the in-game tablet that we have. It's just made into like an iPad. And so we're gonna have Ashley browse the web on it. Oh, where is she going? Is she going in the living room? Okay, girl. <laughs> she said, I gotta get comfortable for this. But as you can see here, it's got the little Apple symbol on it. And here's what the iPad looks like as she scrolls on it. I think this will be so perfect for whenever your sim goes to like a cafe or the library. Not her and Google. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> She's looking up how to get my life together for 2024. Let's see what else we can do. Troll the forums. Girl, let's play Blick Block. See what that looks like. She finna lose, y'all. She finna lose. Oh my gosh, girl. Are right, you gonna put that iPad? Hello? The iPad disappeared. Girl, where did you put the iPad? Oh, I'm gonna be so mad. It's okay though, it's okay. So I'm gonna see if this laptop can go in this bag. If this laptop can go in this bag, y'all, it's over with. Oh, dang, it can't, okay. I would have been so hype about that. But the iPad is able to fit in the tote bag. I'm gonna have to go in build mode and get a new one out because I don't know what she did with the old one. All right, there you go. 
but it is able to go in the tote bag. Moving on to the next set of mods I have in my game. These are all functional cameras and they have the same functionality to them. They're basically like the cameras that come in game. These just come in cuter meshes. So we have three different cameras to choose from. I think these are so perfect for whenever your sims go on vacation and you take a lot of photos. The first one I have is the Simify Instant Camera by My Shuno Sun. It can perfectly go into the tote bag. The next camera we have is this digital camera that comes in the Traveler set made by Sibulet, which is a CC collection that you need to have in your game. It comes with so many cute travel clutter. Like we have this functional suitcase if you have growing together. We have this duffel bag, this cute little toiletry case. Do y'all see how cute this is? And the best part is it can go into your tote bag. And then the final camera I want to show is this Instax camera that comes from the poolside lounge kit made by Max20. And I love this so much because I own this exact camera in real life. And I just think it is so cute, but you can put it in your tote bag. In order to actually use it, you have to put it in your Sims inventory, not the handbag inventory, but like the true inventory. You have different interactions to do. However, I don't know if these interactions our base game or if they come with the mod but if it does come with the mod i want to say it's small take photo overhaul made by little miss sam but i'm gonna have ashley take us instagram picture of benji oh my gosh he's so cute <laughs> let's take a few pictures of him and now we have them in our inventory annie who the hell is annie huh did i forget <laughs> Y'all. Okay, so I actually grabbed this dog from the gallery just because I wanted a more realistic looking miniature schnauzer. And of course the creator is pug owned. They make the best custom pets. And I guess I forgot to rename the dog to Benji because it says Annie instead. And I'm just now realizing this. <laughs> Well, I got a random ass dog in my house right now, y'all. <laughs> but back to the cameras. Your sims can take it with them on the go and take pictures of them and their friends together. And speaking of photos, the next mod I'm covering is the Photographic Memory 2.0. And if you're a long time viewer on my channel, you already know how much I rave about this mod. It's definitely one of my most used mods. You can change the quality of your sims pictures. So if they come out in poor quality, you can instantly change the photo quality to excellent. You can make different types of photos, so like a calendar, you can make Polaroids, cross stitch images. Like there's just so much range that comes with this. And I think it's such a cute way to showcase your Sims memories. If you've watched my Mimi and Sam, my Shuna Let's Play series, I have a Polaroid wall of my main Sim Mimi in her bedroom. And it shows all the pictures that she's taken throughout that Let's Play series. It's just like a cute little memory sake for her and just the remnants on all the fun that she's had while living in San my Shuno. So this item comes with a few objects that you can use use in order to access it. I have the flash drive and then I have the floppy disk. And like I said before, if you watch my Mimi and Sam Machine Let's Play series, my main sim Mimi, she had these on her at all times y'all at all times they stayed in her inventory but now that i have the handbag they could just go in there and i wouldn't have to worry about them cluttering up the inventory here in order to find them in build mode all you need to do is type in rbsn and it should pop up you'll click on any of the objects and you'll see a photo pseudo interaction you'll select that and there's three interactions you could do you can create photo gifts you can improve the photo quality which is my favorite feature and then you can transfer the photo to a different type of medium so we're going to create a photo gift and we're going to create a Polaroid which is very fitting for the instant cameras that I showed a little bit earlier and we're going to make a Polaroid of Benji not just having a flirty ambiance <laughs> okay <laughs> And so now that we've done that, we should be able to have a Polaroid of Benji. And this is what it looks like. We're going to do a calendar as well for Benji. Look how cute that is. But just like the photo objects, the Polaroids are able to go in your Sims handbag. So if you want to keep a few Polaroids, like say your Sim is dating someone, they can keep a Polaroid of their loved one in their bag. Oh, I think the calendar can go in there too. Yeah, it can. But yeah, I definitely love this mod so much. Would highly, highly recommend it if you don't have it already. Before we move on to the final two mods in my game, I want to show you guys the last functional bag that I have in my game. This is the ultimate diaper bag. So here's what the bag looks like. It is so nice and detailed. It is a bit on the alpha side, but I honestly think it meshes really well with Max's Magic Decor as well. But it comes with three different swatches. 
I love the green swatch so much y'all. I'm obsessed with it. The next two mods I'm showcasing, I think they're perfect for. So the first one I want to show off is such a staple in my game and this is the childbirth mod made by Panda Sama. And this brings realistic childbirth to your game. And because that mod is just so massive, I'm not going to be able to do like a full blown overview of it. However, the creator themselves have made multiple videos overviewing their mod as well as so many simmers in the community. So definitely check their videos out. But the reason why I wanted to point this mod out is because it comes with several functional items that your sims can use and they're live draggable so they're able to go into the diaper bag so we have these lactation cookies here and then we have the lactating pump we have some tylenol and then we also have these headphones that your sims are able to use while pregnant now the lactation cookies aren't able to go in the bag and i don't think the tylenol is able to go in there either However, the lactation pump is able to go in here as well as the headphones, but you're able to fit toys in here. You're able to put snacks in here. So if we open up our tabby and then grab some of those snacks, like the protein bars, they can go in here. Those dried fruits, feeling a little bit ashy, you can put some lotion in there. So it works just like the um, tabby bag, but it's just more fitting for new parents in this cute little diaper bag. And there's one more baby related mod that I want to showcase that can also go into this bag and this is the functional baby food mod made by Sonic and Severinka. This mod is base game and it comes with 34 edible products for toddlers. So we have baby juices, yogurts, cottage cheese, baby puree in jars. And in order for this to work, you're going to need the cookbook SNS mod. So make sure you download this as well. Otherwise you won't be able to access these recipes. So in order to access the cookbook mod, you're going to go to kitchen appliances, scroll down a bit and you should find it. We're going to put it out on the counter, click on the book and you should see an interaction that says baby food. You'll select that and you'll see four different interactions to choose from. We're going to grab from the drinks first. Uh oh, no high chair available. Hold on, y'all. We got to put a high chair down. <laughs> All right, it should be able to work now. Okay, there we go. So we have the baby puree. I'm just gonna grab one of these out. Helga. But what I love about this is that it can go into the diaper bag. So now your sims will have access to toddler foods while they're away from home, which is perfect because I think I could be wrong though. I don't play, as you could tell from my channel, I don't be playing with kids at all. So I really actually don't know if this is true or not, but I want to say in order to feed your toddlers, you must have a high chair so that the interaction to give food is available to them. I want to say you're also able to do it from the fridge, but I, I, like I said, I don't be playing with them that often. So I don't know, but this is just so convenient to have in your game. So now they have easy access to the food. I'm gonna grab one more item out. Let's grab a drink. I'm gonna grab some apple juice and see what that looks like. I also want to point out that the dress that Ashley is wearing is also made by Coco Games. So not only is she a modder, but she is a sushi creator and she do be eating. <laughs> But here's what the apple juice looks like and it is able to go into the diaper bag as well so this is so perfect for your sims especially if you do a lot of family gameplay this really truly is going to be a mod that i'm going to use so often but these are all the functional items i'm going to be putting in my sims bags i hope you found the functional bags and all the items that are shown today very helpful for your gameplay as well another shout out to coco games for creating the functional handbags as i mentioned before everything will be linked in the description down below so definitely check it out but if you enjoyed this video please be sure to leave a like and comment. I would highly appreciate it. Please do not forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next mod showcase video that I do on my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.